Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Mid-Saturday morning, gorgeous conditions across the Mid-South. Got a lot to talk about this morning. We'll talk about our climate statistics, which is going to be another possible record high today at least coming very close to that later on. Your forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, top of the screen, title of this weather blog, Weather Overtime, and of course my email address if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions about what you, as I gesture annoyingly into the camera, would like to see on here. We'll bring you more information about that and how you can contact me in just a little bit. Plus, thanks to everybody for those great pictures you sent in this morning from social media. We'll get to those coming up a little bit later on. Very warm over the next couple of days. Halloween looks pretty good, but as, right tonight, as of right now, looking at less chances of anything involving showers or thunderstorms outside of a minimal chance coming up toward about the end of this next week. But we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. As of right now, from Windy Country Club, Next three, well, the next hour or two, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s out there, but rising rapidly over the next few hours back in the upper 70s by lunchtime, lower 80s and mid 80s for high temperatures later on this afternoon, some 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of the year. So naturally a no-brainer today. The cough temp decks looks like it's going to be back toward the iced, frothy coolness, something to cool you down out there as temperatures really begin to hit way above where they should be for late October. Big River Crossing, a lot of people out and about this morning, but the Mississippi River is dropping, and pretty rapidly, too. Should be down to about five feet above zero stage by Tuesday. Could go lower than that. We'll be waiting for information from the National Weather Service and the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service to give us more information about what the river is doing. One earthquake just on on the northern border of the News Channel 3 viewing area in and around yesterday afternoon at about 1 o'clock, a minor earthquake just to the north of the Dyersburg area, and that again occurred yesterday about Friday or so. Definitely not a huge earthquake out there, but it was enough to rattle the sensors at the United States Geological Survey and also from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Seven miles down, 2.1 magnitude earthquake, so it was a minor one, probably felt around Dyersburg, but beyond that, nothing else in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Burn bands, on the other hand, a definite change in this. We're looking again at an elevated risk of wildfire across parts of the Mid-South as we go into the weekend, and that includes everybody out there. Now, we do have, again, burn bands, new burn band issued for Arkansas. That's seven counties outside the News Channel 3 viewing area for Monroe County. That's brand new, just on the borders of the News Channel 3 viewing area. All counties in Mississippi are under burn bans. No burn bans issued for Tennessee, according to what we have seen so far from the Tennessee Division of Forestry under the State Department of Agriculture. Tennessee does not issue burn bans unless on an extraordinary need basis. You do need a burn permit, though, especially in weather conditions like this. Low humidity, a bit of wind, and all it needs is a giant spark to get things going a small spark to get things going into a giant wildfire so extra caution with anything out there that welding torch for the weekend project the backyard barbecue pit a carelessly tossed cigarette butt which is very icky pollution thank you very much and it could also start a very large grass fire so please keep that in mind no precipitation yesterday we're behind for the month by two and a third inches ahead for the year we had plenty of several months ago but that's not helping us right now we should be at three and a half inches plus we have only had 1.22 so we've got a lot to make up for at this point in time yesterday's low 61 after a normal 50 and a high of 83 degrees we missed a record high by about two degrees 70 is where we should be so once again looking at maybe a record high today at least tying it of 85 degrees, less set back in about 2,000 or so. And once again, burn bans across the Mid-South are going to be a problem, so let's all be careful out there. Rest of the day today, highs again not doing too bad. Well, looks like we're having another loss of data here. Apologize for that. We'll get you more information about the forecast coming up here with numbers in the 7 to 10 day forecast looking like this, as I said more confidently. Mid-80s for today, again, record high temperatures possible. Tomorrow's record high, 86. I'm going to come fairly close to that, but not doing too bad out there. For Halloween, 86, also the record high temperature, and we should see good weather for the trick-or-treaters. It's going to be warm as the kids get going, maybe about the upper 70s to lower 80s, and about the time the ghosts and goblins clear out and start to head back home again 
as they get ready for school the next day back into the mid 80s as well mid 80s for tuesday and wednesday so a very warm spate of days coming up now toward thursday a chance of showers and thunderstorms but only a slight chance that will linger into friday here's where it gets really interesting as we go toward next weekend and right after that some signs in the mid-south the more optimistic view is showing the potential of maybe some cooler weather heading our way. I say maybe because as of right now there's a couple of computer models especially from the Climate Prediction Center which are showing above normal temperatures again for a much longer period of time. Now, so this computer system set up the simulation is showing the cooler numbers that could definitely change into the next few days but so far that's what the numbers are giving us and that's what I'm going to be going for definitely going to be changing so definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest information about the 7 to 10 day forecast and everything else. Stargazing conditions tonight as we get into the evening hours looking pretty good out there with no problems being seen for visibility a little hazy especially in and around the downtown Memphis area where News Channel 3 is located outside of Shelby County and the metro area. We should be looking at some good visibility conditions out there. Venus and Saturn in Scorpio setting just after sunset. Mars is a little bit further to the east in and around Sagittarius and that'll be in the southern skies tonight. Perseus rises in the northeast through October. Good viewing of that and an iridium flare will be happening at about 7.43 p.m. tonight. That happens as an iridium flare reflects sunlight and makes its way down toward the north northeastern horizon that'll be at about 743 decently bright it'll only happen for a few seconds it'll fade in get really bright then fade back out again and again that'll be happening at about 743 this evening that's about the extent of any viewable satellites for the mid-south for this time later on tonight for radio weather throughout the weekend tune in to news channel 3's forecast on oldies 102.3 and country 92.5 east arkansas broadcasters i'll keep you up to date on that and and join me for the forecast bright and early Monday through Friday morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. We'll talk back live with Bob and Josh and also before that on Memphis in the Morning. And don't forget to tweet any weather pictures to me at Aonic underscore WREG3. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, SoundCloud, Snapchat as soon as I can figure it out. And eventually we'll get it on Game Boy, but that's going to take a little. Get the weather app. All you have to do is go to your particular device's app store and search WREG weather. Again, rest of the week weekend looking pretty good into tonight. We've got a good astronomical event coming up and that'll be coming up this Friday. If you'd like to learn more about that, I'll be talking more about yours truly's performance at the Memphis Astronomical Society's monthly meeting. That'll be this Friday, November the 4th at 8 p.m. at Christian Brothers University. More about that coming up later on this evening. We'll talk more about astronomy in our evening weather cast coming up later tonight. We'll have football all the way throughout the rest of the day, so we'll be on late, probably later on this evening. So more information available again at WREG.com if you'd like to tune in for more on that and stay tuned for more about the complete forecast again through wreg.com slash weather and on air for those of you who are going to be staying up late later on tonight that's it from the news channel 3 weather center i'm meteorologist austin onick thanks for joining me for the latest edition of news channel 3's video weather blog weather overtime for saturday october 29th